I guess we gotta have lock um, directional transform change. And then we'll have unlock directional transform change. Is directional transform locked? And we're also going to want a, um, a set direction, set transform to direction. Just having to write all the functions for all this stuff because we need complex movement. Because we're making a game that we want to have smooth things happen. So we can have it when you unlock that it just sets your transform to your direction. That would be pretty handy, actually. So while we do that, we'll have a bool fixed direction, and we'll set it to true by default. Trying to think because if we swap our direction back and forth real quick, um, when we finish our animation, we can't just unlock our directional transform because we're not sure if we actually actually know any of this. So this lock and unlock is just going to be something that's going to be on the state itself, and then it's basically when you enter the crouch state, we're going to call lock directional transform change, and we're just going to leave it locked until we exit that state.
Guess we gotta do a whole bunch of little stuff here. There's just so much crazy shenaniganry to, to deal with here. What is this pissed off? Function does not take one argument. That is true. <laughs> Stupid template errors. Alright, let's just make sure nothing insane happened with our switching right there. And of course, our our movements all sorts of jacked up. Needs to be true by default. And that's why you do sanity tests. It's like, is it working? Nope. All right. A simple operation. Did I fuck it up? Ah, yep. That's how it works. Spider bitey. Anyway, I'll be right back and then we'll get back to fixing this.
Alright, well, let's get back to fixing our transition animation. So we're going to get that turning around animation playing. Which we have this crouch turn. Right now, we crouch turn, he looks like this, which is not what we want. So what we're going to want to do is open up our movement states, our crouch state. All right, so we're guaranteed on enter and on exit and all that stuff is called in specific orders and that's for specific reasons like this. Um, so one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that the on enter actually calls this stuff. Um, We're going to call lock directional transform change. And on our exit, we're going to call unlock directional transform change. And let's also put this stuff, we always want this to happen. So let's just make sure we always have it happen. So something like that. And I, I don't know of a better way for these event binding wires to get thrown around other than how they are. That's just, it's pretty damned annoying to be honest. Alright, so we're going to want movement, unlock, directional transform change, and fixed direction should be true. Because we're not crouching anymore, so. Alright, we compile and save this, and what should happen is while crouching, we should not be able to change directions. Alright, so that is really funny. I care can. He's like moonwalking. Alright, so we are not changing our direction, and what we're going to want to put in here is another event, which is going to be this on direction change. Yeah, care can. Food is important. Go cook food. So on a direction change, um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want a um, is changing direction. And we're also going to want a um, direction changing too. So is changing direction is going to be false. Direction changing to, this is going to need to be an E dash in direction. Let's see, I mean, we don't actually need anything here. We can just do the none. No, we've got other stuff in here. 
Well, we're gonna have to add to it then. So when we, when we enter this state, we are definitely going to set the direction that we're changing to to nothing. So like reset our variables when we enter the state. All right, so what's going to happen is So if our direction changes, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start changing our direction. We're also going to want to set our maximum velocity to zero and, um, and all that. So why don't we ignore the velocity for a minute here and let's just do our direction change. Um, so the direction change should initiate if our direction changing to is nothing and we're already crouched. So I guess if we are crouching or direction changing to does not equal, all right, so yeah, why don't we do it this way? So we'll do a, a branch. So if we're crouching, then don't do anything. Um, I don't like these nodes. So if we're not crouching, and then direction changing to, let's do equals. equals none, then what we're going to want to do is play our animation for transitioning. We're going to want to set our direction changing to Okay, we also need the new direction if the new direction matches the direction that we're changing to then this doesn't matter so if direction changing to equals the new direction And what is this animation name?
It's Crouch turn. Should we also grab the animation ID? Why don't we do that? All right, so we saved the crouch turn animation ID and all that. Um, I guess we really don't have to worry about too much with caching this. So what we want to do is on, I guess, animation end is when we're going to be paying attention to this. Alright, so on animation start for crouching, it's going to set crouching to true. If we're not crouching, I guess I need to also do like and crouched is true. I guess maybe just entered crouch. Yeah, that's probably the best one. If we've entered the crouch, then we can actually do the direction change stuff. If we're not already changing our direction. Alright, so we're going to want this crouch turn animation get, and we're going to say that the animation ID is equal to that. Alright, so we have finished the crouch animation. Uh, we want to see if the direction that we're changing to and we're going to have an equals we want to get the direction so let's see if there's actually a get direction on this thing
Yeah, there's a get direction, but it's not accessible to blueprint. Well, then we're going to need it. So let's go ahead and compile and save and all that. Is there public? Yeah, is there public? All right, good. So we're just basically slowly going through all the different states, and I'm purposefully complicating these things. Like, we don't have to do the direction switching for crawling. We don't have to do all these things. Um, but we are doing them because I want to have examples of how to do them kind of in our tool belt. So, you know, if Adam comes to me and he's like, I want him to turn around or something, I can go, okay, cool, well, I can just take that logic from this other thing and apply it to this new object that we have here and we're good. And I can also say yes, the system can support it, this is how you do it. That sort of that sort of stuff. Alright, so let's go. To open up that crouch state and keep working on it. So we need to get direction. Alright, so if the direction is the same. Um, we actually want a not equal, I believe. Oh, I can just call get animation by name during the on initialize. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I want to do. There we go. That's better. All right, so we have, if we have finished the turning animation, um, you're back, you're back. Well, welcome back, Lucas. 
We're working on getting the bitey turning around when he's crouched. So I'm thinking about what I want to do here, and what I want to do is I want to call the movement um, set to set transform to specific direction, and I want to call it to this direction. So we'll turn ourselves, and then we're basically going to then turn around. I guess we want to call this direction changing thing anyway. Um, trying to think about this. So if we set our transforms here, all right. So it was a crouch turn animation. So if it's a crouch turn animation, that means that we're supposed to actually move to a direction. So set ourselves to the direction that we're supposed to be changing to. Then we're going to get the direction that we want to be facing. And if that is not equal, we're going to set the direction we're trying to change to to the other direction, change to that direction with a crouch turn, and wait for it. Otherwise, what we want to do is clear the direction changing to and we just want to play you know, our normal directional changing stuff. All right, so it's basically inside of our update method when we are setting ourselves to be crawling or crouched. Um, we actually want to Well, try to crouch shouldn't be, shouldn't have anything to do with this if we have not entered crouch. Basically, we should not play crawl or crouched if we are currently turning. So we want a direction changing to. Alright, so if it does not equal none, we actually want it to say like if it is equal to none, then it's okay. Okay, so just like that. And we also need a can play anim up here.
We need to see if this is equal to none. So if this, um, yeah, we need a none equal here as well. So if we're not equal to none, we need to go that way. Otherwise, we need to basically, if the direction change was equal to nothing, then we want to make sure to set our direction to our movement direction. Yeah, it's called set transform to direction. Because this basically may meant that we finished the crouch turning animation, but like something has gone wrong with like we weren't supposed to be playing it or something. We have undefined information. And I'm wondering if this is even the right place to, the right pattern to use here. Because I don't like this sort of coding pattern where it's all edge-based edge conditions, like, um, because if you forget an edge, like, it'll never fix itself. So there's not, like, some sort of, like, what's my current facing direction, what's the direction that I should be facing, and then, like, it figuring it out. It's more of like reactionary. Um, having a reactionary system would be better when the, every frame checks is the current direction that I'm facing the same as the direction I want to face? If not, am I already changing direction? Sort of stuff. And the, the issue I have right now is this can play anim thing here is a bit of a problem. So if can play anim is false, then what I need to do is I need to like clear the direction changing to and um,
and I need to set the direction set the transform to the direction like that and it's kind of a lot of logic that's not super it's a little bit fragile Let's see, is loop on on any of these things? I mean, we have interrupt on. Let's set the turn time to something else, like, uh, let's put it to point 0.1 right here and have a getter on these. Let's take a look at that crouch turn, let's, well, let's... Looks like there's something going on with the crouch turn. Let's take a look at it. All right, so it's going to be that the pivot needs to change or something like that. So what does it look like in Harmony, the crouch turn? Well, it's just wrong, that's for sure. Well, this should be it. 2.5. This should be it. 
I mean, really, his head needs to not move. So the issue is on this frame. It's on all these frames. Or maybe it never needs to change at all. So I'm trying to imagine this in screen space. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to play this animation. And his head is where... His head needs to start and end in the same location. So it's definitely that this sort of thing here needs to happen. All right, so this is, this should be a 2.5 west. And these should be at negative, ooh, what? They were at 1.58, so it should be Guess it's just 0.5 over, so that's all we have to do. Yeah, it makes sense. So let's see if this is a. Is it 2? Alright, so we just need to subtract 0.5 from these. And then right here, if this is 2.5, let's see if this is 1. Is it negative 1? Alright, so if it's negative 1, that means we move from 2.5 to negative 1, which is 3.5. So this is going to be 0 and then negative 2, so negative 2.0. See one point one point five eight maybe. Uh, 
Maybe it's just zero. Yeah, that looks close enough. And this should be like, is it 2.0? Is it 1.5? All right, yeah, it looks like it's 1.5. All right, all the difference, ridiculousness. Ah, I was one frame off. It's just going to be negative 2.5. So this is going to be negative. So it should be 3.42. Okay. So his head's not going to move. Let's export this thing. Let's go ahead and import it into Unreal. And let's see what it looks like. It's like one frame delayed, what? I wonder if I actually have a one frame offset on some of my stuff.
Now let's pop it open here. Let's show our pivot point. Let's stop playing it. And can I set the... Alright, so frame zero, that's correct. Alright, so frame five is using... Frame five is where the pivot should change. And let's look if that's where it is in the data. All right, so our pivot was at 53, 53 on frame five. It was 53 by 53. Yeah, we got 71, 71, and then we have 56. All right, so let's look at it in harmony and see which frame is, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 